You know, we are just minutes away from the football frenzy. But before we get to that, tri tributes, that is, are coming in tonight for one of our own, Bill Fee, who lost his battle with cancer today. Fee was Channel 9's general manager for many years, guiding the station through a sea of change. He was also a Vietnam veteran who made sure his brothers would never be forgotten. Bill Fee was WCPO's general manager from 1999 to 2010, and what a decade it was. He oversaw the move to digital with the creation of Cincy Now, which later became WCPO.com. He was at the helm when the station moved to its new Mount Adams location in 2004. And when the Newsroom of the Future project began, Fee helped implement the multimedia journalism era. Fee always said running a television station was like changing a tire on a moving car. Channel 9's current GM, Jeff Brogan, agrees. And it totally is, and Bill handled it so well. You know, he's very passionate about our business and making sure we had an impact in the community. Bill Fee's world was changed by the Vietnam War. He volunteered for infantry duty in January of 1967, reached the shores of Vietnam in July, and was wounded and medevaced out in November. He was 20 years old. We were all the same. We loved each other, no matter what backgrounds we came from. Fee wrote a book about his experiences in Vietnam and soon became an integral part of a grassroots effort for a Vietnam memorial in Eden Park. It was launched by fellow Vietnam veteran Earl Correll, whom Fee called just after the plan was announced. He says, my name is Bill Fee. I'm with Channel 9. He says, I want to help you with the fundraising. He says, I'm good at that. And I said, great. Fee, Correll, and former Cincinnati Mayor Tom Brush were the driving forces behind the marketing, fundraising, and construction of the memorial. We worked day and night on this for two and a half years, and over the years, uh, we've become even better friends. Now, Correll thinks a name change is in order. I think it ought to be called the Bill Fee Vietnam Veteran Memorial. That's how I feel about it. Fee's passion for Cincinnati was also evident after the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. He personally passed out American flags to drivers on 5th Street. Good morning. And made sure the community knew WCPO backed the red, white, and blue. In an interview for Channel 9's 70th anniversary, Fee called 9-11 a pivotal moment. That, that saying about what is global is local was borne out by the news management at the time of keeping the local area informed of what was going on locally as well as nationally. But Bill Fee's biggest pride was his family. His wife, Sally, with whom he celebrated his 50th anniversary on August 29th in a surprise gathering. <laughs> Remembered as a hero, a friend, and a leader, he was surrounded by children, grandchildren, and friends who loved, honored, and cherished him. A good father, a good husband, good grandfather, a good friend. I think he's going to be remembered in many different ways, whether it be here at WCPO or with his work with Vietnam veterans. But I think he's just a good guy who really cared about not just um, doing things right, but making our community better. Just a genuine human being that don't come around that often.